if you have this problem, stick around and I'll show you what I did and walk you through it. Hey guys, Tech Love Mommy here, and I just had this quick little fix I found for my Xfinity modem where I couldn't delete or create port forwarding. And I did do some research and I found out that it is an ongoing issue for over six months, which is crazy. And in 24 hours, I figured out how to fix it. And I thought I would share to see if it would help somebody else since I do see people have been complaining about this problem up until about yesterday on forums. So if you have this problem, let's just go through the quick steps of how to fix it or how I figured it out. So then we're gonna go ahead and turn off that advanced security. I did this on my Android device, on my phone. You should be able to do it on other devices as well as long as you put your Chrome browser or any browser you're using in desktop mode. And once I did that, I went to my Xfinity account, I signed in to the XY section, and this is where you would click on um, to turn it off. So we need to turn off the advanced security features. Hey guys, sorry, this part of the clip got ruined. So next I'm gonna show you the steps. So I'm opening up my XY app on my Android device, clicking on advanced security, which is under your display of your network. You're going to turn on advanced security. Then you're going to go back and you're going to click on see network. Click on your gateway and you're going to restart your gateway. This is what makes the quick steps take longer is restarting your gateway because you will have to do that a couple times. Once your modem has rebooted, which is about 10 minutes roughly, you can go into advanced settings and your port forwarding area. And this is where you can edit, delete, or even add a new port. You should get your message that says it has been done successfully. Now we're going to go ahead over to our Chrome browser, and this is where you would use desktop mode in your web browser to go into your Xfinity account and turn off this advanced security. Let's go do that now. Now that you signed in, you're going to click on the Wi-Fi area, then click on more, and then you're going to click on my services. And this is where you would toggle off the advanced security feature. Now you should just have to reboot your modem one last time. Once that's booted up, you should be having fully functioning port forwarding. So that's it. I hope it helps somebody. Um, definitely made my kids happier because now they can do their own Minecraft servers and all that stuff. Um, my kids were able to do that pretty much right after. Thanks for coming by and watching. I do appreciate all the love, the likes, and the shares. Uh, you guys are great. Until next time, bye.